What if I told you you can get $2,000 a month in income guaranteed? No, this is not a get rich quick scheme, but in fact, something that the government is proposing. Did that catch your attention? Well, it definitely caught my attention when I first started hearing more about this $2,000 a month guaranteed income payment, which is why I've decided to dedicate an entire video to the concept of universal basic income. Is UBI or universal basic income just a pipe dream or on its way to becoming a reality? Also, who pays for all this free money? Is it even free money or are there strings attached? Stick around, you're about to find out. For those of you that may not know, what is universal basic income? How do we define this concept? Universal basic income or UBI is a government program in which every adult citizen receives a set amount of money on a regular basis. The goals of a basic income system are one, to relieve poverty, and two, to eliminate other need-based social programs. So instead of you having to figure out which social-based program you're eligible for, like the GST, HST credit, low income benefit, child benefit, or any other program. Instead, you would receive a flat amount every month, regardless of your situation. This removes the complexities of you having to calculate what social program you're eligible for based on your personal situation, and also removes the burden from the government on having to manage multiple programs. The idea of universal basic income has gained momentum, not just in Canada, but worldwide, as automation is increasingly replacing workers in manufacturing and other sectors of the economy. The intention behind the payment is simple, is to provide enough funds to cover the basic cost of living and to provide financial security. This concept is also a way to offset job losses due to technology. Later in the video, I'll go over exactly how this will be implemented in Canada. If and when this program is implemented in Canada, what are the pros and cons of having a universal basic income system? And more importantly, how does this program impact you? Looking at the pros, it means having the freedom to either go back to school or stay at home or to care for a relative as you're no longer tied to a job or money. Another one is that workers can afford to wait for a better job or better wages if you're currently working a job that does not suit your needs. It also means that young couples will have more money early on to start families, especially considering today's rising cost of raising kids. It also helps stabilize your finances so you're not wondering what happens if you lose your job. Where is your next paycheck going to come from? To me, these all sound like wonderful ideas that can really make a difference, but at what cost? Looking at the cons, one of the biggest issues is that inflation could be triggered because of the increase in demand for goods and services. Remember when there was an increase in the minimum wage in Ontario that went from $11.60 to $14? Seemingly overnight, the cost of everything went up as businesses began pushing their increase in cost to the consumers. Now imagine, that exact same scenario, but with everyone getting a $2,000 a month guaranteed payment. What happens then? There may not even be an increase in the standard of living because of inflated prices. Businesses will be free to charge more now that everyone has access to more money. Free income may not incentivize people to get jobs and work could seem optional. This can really hurt the level of goods and services if there are less people willing to do work. In a nutshell, if everyone suddenly received a basic income, this would create inflation. Most would immediately spend that extra cash driving up demand. Retailers would order more. Manufacturers will try to produce more. But if they can't increase supply, then prices go up. Higher prices would then make the basics unaffordable for those at the bottom of the income pyramid. That's why in the long run, guaranteed income may not actually raise the standard of living. After looking at what exactly is UBI and the pros and cons of having such a system, what exactly is in the store for Canada? The momentum for UBI really came when the Trudeau government implemented the Canada Emergency Response Benefit back in March of 2020. This paid out $2,000 per four week period to those unemployed or underemployed because of COVID-19. This was later converted to the currently ongoing Canada Recovery Benefit or the CRB. COVID forced us to realize that anyone can lose their job at a moment's notice. And what would you do if you don't have access to an income source? These are all tough questions. And this is why the Liberal Party passed a resolution supporting UBI during their national convention in the second week of April. This resolution was supported by 77% of party members. The NDP convention also passed a similar motion earlier in the year. This would not be the first time Canada has considered implementing universal basic income. 
A few years ago, Ontario launched a pilot program giving 4,000 Ontario residents living in poverty $17,000 a year, or couples $24,000 a year in the program. The expected cost for the program was $15 million annually. Now, if we scale this Canada wide, the UBI program could potentially cost $87 billion in 2022 alone, rising to over $93 billion by 2025. Naturally, this makes me wonder where would all this money come from? Good question, isn't it? Let's take a look. According to ubiworks.ca, there are eight proposed ways to help pave the way for UBI in Canada. Let's take a look at some of those ways. One is to bring a land value tax of 2.91% which would raise $130 billion. This is a big one, considering 76% of Canada's national wealth is tied up in real estate. And if you want to learn more about the state of Canada's real estate, make sure you check out some of these videos. Two, increasing various taxes like the GST, HST, corporate taxes, along with reducing corporate tax subsidies and eliminating the capital gains exemption. This could potentially add another $129 billion to the pile. Number three, increasing the tax on high income earners by introducing a wealth tax or a luxury tax and cutting back on tax credits for the RRSP and dividends. Essentially, a whole host of tax credits and benefits would be gone to save money for UBI. This could potentially add another $135 billion to the program. Number four, introducing a micro tax, meaning you would have to pay an extra 0.2% on all financial transactions. This could potentially bring in another $160 billion. UBI Works is calling for tax reform ideas like the ones we just talked about that could potentially add $874 billion to help pave the way for UBI. By lifting Canadians out of poverty, UBI reduces the cost of other government programs, including savings in healthcare and criminal justice costs. The problem with a blanket program like this is that a basic income program tries to level the playing field for everybody, but isn't helping those that are likely struggling the most. Let's face it, people have various needs and putting a basic income program in place that's a one size fits all approach may not help those people with those very specific needs. Having said all that, is UBI really coming to Canada? As the Liberal government was expected to release the 2021 budget, there was much speculation on whether we would start to see aspects of UBI start to come through. Just a little while ago, the federal budget was released, but there was no sign of UBI or anything close to it. With the continued pressure of COVID-19, there was only an opportunity for a couple of significant measures. It's interesting that the budget ended up turning its back on UBI, considering the overwhelming support at the Liberal Party convention. At this point, it seems like the concept of UBI has been put on the back burner. Well, at least for now. However, there are steps you can take today to create your very own UBI with all of the benefits and none of the downsides. How you might be wondering? Before I get to this, I want to show you guys what other countries are doing about UBI, which may offer a glimpse into Canada's future. In 2017, Finland gave 2,000 unemployed workers 560 euros a month for two years, even if they found work. The recipients said it reduced stress. It also gave them the opportunity to find a better job or to start their own business, which makes sense. If you're not worried where your next paycheck is coming from, you have the opportunity to take more chances on yourself. Scotland has committed 250,000 pounds into four pilot areas. They're researching a program that pays every citizen for life. Retirees will receive 150 pounds per week. Working adults will get 100 pounds a week and children under 16 will get paid 60 pounds a week. Taiwan may also vote on a basic income proposal. Under the current proposal, the government will pay 6,300 Taiwan dollar for every child under the age of 18 and 12,600 per month for every adult. It's estimated that this program will cost 3.4 trillion new Taiwan dollar, or 19% of Taiwan's GDP. To fund the program, Taiwan will introduce a 31% tax on earnings over 840,000 per year. Even though UBI is not coming to Canada right now, we may see it down the road in one way, shape or another. Just like the emergency COVID benefits the government put in place to help Canadians get through tough times. In the meantime, you can create your very own universal basic income. Dividend investing is a strategy that gives investors two potential sources of profit. One, the predictable income of regular dividend payments, and two, the capital appreciation of the stock over time. Buying dividend stocks can be a great approach for investors 
looking to generate income or to build wealth by reinvesting the dividend payments. Once you have a portfolio of quality dividend paying companies, you are well on your way of building a passive income stream, aka your very own universal basic income. You no longer have to work for this income or sell your time for money. Cash dividends show up in your account like clockwork. Make sure you check out these videos on how you can get started with dividend investing today. Thank you so much for watching. This channel would not exist without your support. So please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It makes a huge difference and you will miss out on future content like this. I have promo codes in the description of this video. So make sure you take advantage of those sign up bonuses and discounts. Every click helps directly support the channel. Do you have questions for me? Feedback on this video, or maybe you have ideas on future content. Let me know in the comments below. That's it for now. I'll catch you guys in the next one.